welcome inside our studio, Tim Howard, Robbie Earl, Rebecca Lowe. We are going to start with that game, that Everton victory over Nottingham Forest and everything that has happened since. I'm about to show you a number of graphics. Just stick with me because it's going to take a little while, but you need to know the series of events. On the final whistle, after Nottingham Forest lost to Everton, Forrest put out this on their X account. By the way, 44 million views of this particular message. Three extremely poor decisions, three penalties not given, which we simply cannot accept. We warned the PGMOL that the VAR is a Luton fan. They're talking about Stuart Atwell before the game, but they didn't change him. Our patience has been tested multiple times. Forrest will now consider its options. They've also, by the way, asked for the audio of the VAR room to be released. The Premier League replied. The Premier League was extremely disappointed to read the comments made by Nottingham Forest on social media on Sunday following its match against Everton. We note the FA has confirmed it will be investigating the club's statement. It is never appropriate, they say, to improperly question the integrity of match officials. And the nature of these comments means the Premier League will also be investigating the matter in relation to the league's rules. Forest decided to issue a third statement. This was... Lengthy but interesting, following the match at Everton, Forrest issued a statement highlighting our concern at the perception of the PGMOL appointment of VAR for the game. This was an issue we raised with PGMOL prior to the fixture because of the fear of the sideshow that would ensue if anything went wrong with officiating in the game. That fear has materialised as the correctness of three important decisions against the club have been called into doubt. This is not, they say, about individuals, but rather how the integrity of the game is seen. We know match officials do not allow outside factors to influence their decision-making and that all referees are required to declare their allegiances to PGMOL to avoid any perceived conflict or harm to the game's reputation for integrity. I told you it was lengthy. However, it is clear PGMOL must amend its rule on allegiances to account for contextual rivalries in the league table, not just local rivalries. This is currently not within the criteria, but should be. Mere reliance on match officials to recuse themselves if contextual rivalries exist invites conjecture, as some have recused themselves where others have not. Nottingham Forest Football Club stands by its request for greater transparency around PGMOL appointments to further protect the game's reputation as intended in PGMOL's existing approach to allegiances. Given the widespread and ongoing concerns, not merely of the fans, players and managers of this club, but of many others and the pundits too, over VAR decisions throughout this season, any move which boosts confidence in the system should be properly considered. Well, Robbie Musto, Tim Howard and myself had our say on Sunday after this news broke. Robbie Earl, mm. we've yet to hear from you. Yeah. 48 hours on, what on earth do you make of all well, of that? Well, if it wasn't so important, Rebecca, I'd say, could you give me the second line again? I, I, I lost it. But it, it, it is such an important thing that we're talking about. It's something that reflects badly on the Premier League, the biggest, most watched league in the world. It's something, in my opinion, that reflects badly on Nottingham Forest Football Club, which is a brilliant football club, Rebecca, which I've said on air a number of times, the Premier League is better for Nottingham Forest being in here. But I think they, they've overstepped a, a mark, a line that you never go to. And, listen, Tim and I have both been players. I've been in dressing rooms, Rebecca, where after the game, I'm, we're saying in the privacy of a dressing room, oh, we didn't get anything today, did we? Didn't get that, that penalty shout or didn't get this or, or the other. But we've never questioned the integrity of a referee. We've basically said a referee wasn't very good. And actually, right now, the refereeing in VAR isn't very good. And that's where I have some sympathy for Forrest, where Howard Webb has to start putting procedures in place, better training and, and almost better people to do, to do the job. So there I, there's a bit of sympathy. Where I have no sympathy is, is the tone in the vocabulary that was used was inflammatory. The, this kind of will consider our options like this illegal route to go down if things don't go well. That, Rebecca, to me, is overstepping the mark in questioning the integrity of a referee making a decision on his football club he supports or about giving the right decision regardless of whoever he likes in the league. The general consensus is that it's one thing to say VAR or a referee is not very good and it's quite another to mm. insinuate bias uh, and corruption in the game. Tim, in one of their statements there, they asked for re referees to be removed from games if there's a mm. contextual rivalry. So what that means is, like Stuart Atwell is a Luton fan, and if he is on VAR for a team for a game that affects Luton, he shouldn't be allowed to do it. The problem with that is, is it not, 
how, we have no referees left <laughs> because everyone's linked <laughs> to every game. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you, you, you like, I certainly like the fact, even as a player, that referees had an allegiance and they had to, they had to let that be known and they, just, they didn't referee certain games. I was always all for that. But even what you're saying, within the course of a season, there becomes rivalries because maybe someone goes over the top of one of your players and it's not even a, a local derby. And now next time you go up to Newcastle, you want to get one back. So there's all, there's all these type of uh, rivalries that come into the game, not just the contextual ones, not just the derbies. So uh, we, we'd run out of referees if we did that. Yeah. How careful do we have to be? We ask for mm. these referees, yeah. Robbie, yeah. to be men of the game, yeah. people who know the game. Mm -hmm. And then when they turn out to be fans of clubs... Yeah. Oh, what, we can't have them refereeing oh, it's, about it's, seven games this week. It's ridiculous, Rebecca. You know, up to a few weeks ago, Brentford were in trouble. So somebody who's in Brentford, would they not referee any game down at the bottom of the league? Brentford were probably sitting like 50, 14th or 15th. So, I mean, I think that's a nonsense. And I think that's getting away from where the problem is, is Howard Webb and the standard of refereeing in, in the UK is not up to the level of the football. And that's what needs to be addressing. And it's, it's, it's getting caught up in, in all the other stuff that, that Nottingham Forest is saying, where they're thinking that they're hard done by. And just to go back to the instance, Rebecca, the, the three penalties. One, I didn't think was, was a penalty, the trip. One, is a 50-50 call with the handball. Yes, I agree that the, the, the foul on hudson Adoy was a foul and should have been a penalty kick, but... These things happen in football, and for Forrest to try and use that. And a friend of ours, Mark Clattenburg, friend of the show and somebody we've been in touch with, I believe is driving this. And as a referee consultant, the first in, in, in the league, this is a, ro a, a, a rocky road we're going down if we start to see more of this. Nottingham Forest are, of course, waiting for their appeal results on that point deduction, hoping to get a point or two back. The FA are investigating their statement. Huh. The Premier League are looking at it as well, Tim. Do you see punishment coming for a sway? And if you do, will it be a fine? Do you think it'll be more than that? There is no, there's no precedent yeah, for this. No for it. I, I, and to be honest, you talk about the points deduction and the appeal. This feels as if Maranakis really wants to fight with the, with the Premier League because he's upset. They feel hard done by. Um, so this kind of feels like he's nudging that a little bit, poking the bear. So um, I... Because there's no precedent, I sit here and I think there's not going to be um, a points deduction given, probably a fine if they if they feel like the the Premier League wants to do that. I could see a, a financial fine, but I can't see a points deduction. Rob, possible suspend um, uh, number points taken off um, retrospectively if this happens again. So if we so go down the suspended points, yeah, deduction. suspended points deduction, maybe a point or, or two, because that's really what matters. The, the fine doesn't matter. Mark and Mark and after is a wealthy man. But what he, what he doesn't want is to lose points, and they're worried about that now, with Luton still very much in the fight. Yeah, it's not like Forrest haven't got anything else to worry about <laughs> right now. Quite a lot on their plates. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.